Hey. What? Hello, I'm Mark Mario. Ross, and I'd like to welcome you to the 20th Joy of Painting series. If this is your first time with us, let mm -hmm. me extend a personal invitation for you to drag out your brushes and your paints and, and paint Got along it. with us each show. I think you'll enjoy it. I Tell will. You what, let's start out today and have run all the colors across the screen. Titanium that you need to paint along with white. Paint with, we have our standard old 18 by 24 inch canvas. But mm -hmm. You can Got use it right whatever here. size you want. And we have it covered with a little bit of liquid white, just a Me thin, too. even coat, just enough to make the canvas wet. Ooh. And that, we'll just take off and we'll have a super time. We'll go into a very, very small amount very of the small phthalo blue. Phthalo. Just a little bit. Don't want much. Let's make some happy little clouds in our world. Let's okay. get up here. And we'll just take this brush uh -huh. and we'll just bounce in some, some nice shapes. Now, when uh, we're doing this, we're okay. interested in the white area, not the dark. So don't worry about the dark area. We're going to blend that all out. Oh no! All we're doing is putting in some color for the shadows of our clouds. Okay. And this is one of the nicest, easiest ways of making very effective, great big old clouds. <laughs> effective. Maybe there's another little cloud that lives in our world, right along there. My world Where is falling apart, Bob. I'm making tiny little circles. Just Bob. Tiny little circles. Okay. Okay, maybe I'll this add a little color right in here, too. Bob, this looks bad, Bob. So be, allow it to blend with the white that's already on the canvas. White? My clouds now don't look like clouds. Sense. <laughs> this doesn't make sense, Bob. See how those dark areas end up being the nice shadows, and, and the white areas will end up being our clouds. Works very nice. I don't know what you're seeing, Bob, but this does not look nice. Yeah, they, let's have some water in this painting. If you Water, before, okay. And today maybe this one will be still water, so we hey, want that these lines to be bad. basically straight across here. Washing the brush, so let's do that. Mm -hmm. we wash our brushes with odorless thinner. I, I don't Check have that. Excess. Mm -hmm. Whoa! <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. Beat the this devil out of it. Take out Bob? all your friends. Do a little titanium white. <laughs> you use the old fan brush. You make some little clouds. Oh I'll no, right Bob! This looks so bad. Of the bright red, just enough to put a little pinkish glow into our little clouds pinkish glow much. it'll look like the clouds okay. are bleeding i gotta make big decisions this also works very well with a little one inch brush mm -hmm. very well all we do is just sort of have an idea in our mind and we just sort of let it let it happen i don't want to we'll let it happen just a little bit very soon you can enjoy the freedom of creating a painting right on the canvas this canvas right on the canvas and to me that's where it really This is Microsoft fun. Paint. <laughs> it's when you, you look at what you're doing and, and you'll see things. I, I see, you know, I see dead people. And you learn to take advantage of whatever happens and use it to you to make your painting special. And you can do that. You sound like okay, Bill Cosby. But this is a beautiful way. I just uh -huh. beat the brush like that to knock off excess paint. Okay. It's a beautiful way. <laughs> this will blend it all together. This is not blending out. anything. At all. There. Now I want to, I want to make some tiny little mountains up in here that are far away. Tiny? I don't little want mountains. these to be very big. Oh boy. We want to create the illusion of distance here. This is polishing a turd, Bob. Using a very firm pressure. I want to grab this and pull it. Uh, yeah. Just pull it. It does two things. It removes excess paint and it blends all this together. No, oh, Bob. We have mist, and now we have wonderful pollution. Wonderful and we have pollution. All these things that break up and diffuse the light, barely touching. No pressure. No pressure. And no I pressure. I feel distinct. the pressure, Bob. I feel the pressure. Very quiet, subdued, far away, gentle, soft. Think about those types mm -hmm. of words and stuff when you're painting, and it'll help your it'll help your hand go. Hatred, more sadness. That's what I see, Bob. Don't want a lot of detail in this. There, don't worry. There is no we'll detail in this. Blue and white. Just don't you worry, shadow. Bob. I don't want a lot of shadow back here. Oh, Bob, Should I don't trust you anymore. Right I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. Just sort of look at your painting and, and make a decision. Okay, let me wipe my knife off. Oh. And let's use, we'll use a one inch brush. What the heck? One inch brush. You okay. can use your fan brush or two inch brush. It, it doesn't matter load a little color in there. What do you got? And let's go right up in here. 
Now we have to make a big decision. Oh. Where does our little foothill slip? Maybe we'll have one coming right over here. Mm -hmm. We'll start this one out back here, just using the corner of the brush. Oh boy. And pull it straight down, gently. Gently? Maybe the little foothill comes right over like that. Wherever. You want a little misty area in between. That's your separator. So take the brush, two inch brush, and just tap the base of it. Oh. Um, you can tap quite firmly. How firm? Like how crayon how firm? I'm the canvas here. And then very lightly, just lift it upward a little bit. There. Okay. Bob. Now maybe we'll have several layers, but you can create just layer after layer after layer like this. Mm. And this is so bad. Tremendously, because it creates that illusion of depth. <laughs> I said, I've created the illusion of death. Push. I tell you what, huh. let's have one more. <gasps> one let's more. One more. We're adding a little bit more of that dark color. Bob, I don't. I can't handle illusion. one more. One more, and we'll let him come. Maybe right down in here. I don't know. Huh? I don't know either, Bob. Tell me what to do. And if you've painted with me before. You know without question that we don't make mistakes here. We just well, have happy accidents. This is not a happy Let's accident. Use anything that happens, little ripples. But notice how all these lines are basically straight. If they're basically not, it's straight. Like your water is going to run right out of your painting and get your floor wet, and you'll have to tie a bucket on one side. Hmm. We hmm. don't want you to have to do that. Hmm. Now, mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. What? Clean off a little spot. Okay. Cleaning off a little let's spot. Take, let's take some black, Prussian blue, black? brown, crimson, sap green, all those same colors. That's so many different with no colors. White in it. What do you want? It's what color very, do you want, very man? Very dark. Very dark. Looks black on the palette. There. Okay. Let me clean my knife. Clean my knife? And I just wipe the knife on an old paper towel. And as you work down the tree, add more and more pressure so the bristles bend downward much, much more. Look at there. Oh. A nice way to make a happy little evergreen. I have a Let's give very a depressed evergreen. You know I think everybody, everybody, everybody should have a friend. Aw. Friends are so important. You're important. I love you. Shoot. In our world, maybe there's three trees here. I have one massive tree. But as many or as few as you want. This is as many as I can the handle, Bob. I would like to teach you here is how to make a tree. You decide how many trees you have in your world. Total and absolute power. Unlimited power here. <laughs> when I go home, the only thing I can do is take a garbage out. But here, I can do anything that I want to do. My goodness. Take a little of dark sienna and a little white. Just enough to indicate there's something in there. And you can just take the point of that. <laughs> just scrape through and make little lines and sticks and all those little things. And little things? Tell you what. Ooh. I have fan brush. I have several of them going here. Let's put some highlights on these little trees. Highlights. Don't want to overdo. If you, if you put it's too much highlights on here, too many highlights, then it loses its effectiveness. We want these to be quite dark. I never had it in the first place, so what is this? To it darker, darker, darker. We need something to hold those trees up so they don't fall over in the water and make yeah. a splash. There. Huh? A little Van Dyke brown, a little dark sienna mixed Ooh. together. Okay. Like so, we'll take a little touch of that brown and white. I got poop brown. Tell you what, we'll just use this big brush. Ready to have some fun? Yes. Maybe in our world lives a big evergreen tree. Oh right no. There. Just right touch where? the canvas. Right now here? We'll use just the corner. Just, just the corner. Just the corner of the brush. Just the corner of the just brush. Just go back and forth. Back and forth. And begin laying in all of these beautiful little limbs and stuff that live here on this tree. Okay. Tell you what, we'll have another one. You knew that, didn't you? Yeah, I knew that. You knew I'd have a friend out here. We need some over here too. Now you could do this with a one-inch brush if you wanted to. You Works just as well. Madman. Well. This is just a little bit faster. What is that thing? A little bit faster. There we are. This isn't effective. Okay. Just bring it right on down, right <laughs> on down. I'm trying. Now you have to start making big decisions. Oh, I'm okay, terrible at making decisions. That nice bush lives there. I can't even go to a restaurant yeah, without want, having a panic attack. And just make the indication of little sticks and twigs, and just by scraping, just point of the knife. Just by scraping. Okay, They're I can scrape most of those up, but some of them will show. 
We could even use a little brown and white come right up in here with the indication of a trunk. Not a great deal of detail, just a little, little over here. It's scraping. Think about all your little leaves and stuff here that would just shine and shine. Oh, they would sparkle out here in the sun under this big mountain. And when you're painting, make up little stories. Okay. Once Think upon a time, the scene that you're painting, become part of it. Make friends. The end. <laughs> Shoot, you can just drop Once upon stuff. a time, everyone died. Let it go. The end. Darker, darker, darker as you work down toward the base of the tree, though. Darker, darker. Darker, darker. Add a little yellow ochre here, there, a little Indian yellow sometimes. Just maybe over here. There it lives. There it lives. This big tree. Mm. Mm. Think about individual shapes and form inside of this tree. Don't just throw it on at random. Think about. Think about the limbs inside the tree that give it shape and form. There. Just push upward and create all kinds of little things. I don't know what yes, planet so. I am making. All right. I'm going to put a little path in here. Use a little Bandite brown. We got just a Bandai second. Brown. So I'll throw that in. A little brown and white. Give us indication of a little path. Then little all we path. need to do is put a little bush over the top of it and it set it right down into the painting. Path Shoot, to I think darkness. We have finished painting. With that, I'm going to wish you happy painting. And He's God done. Bless, my friend. I'll see you next show. Aw. Check it out. What is this painting? Oh.